we wanted to go up there and get her to have her be with us. Minnie Nebedekwe was always close to her big sister Sarah, so when Sarah unexpectedly died while visiting their father in Canada last week, Minnie and her mom brought Sarah's ashes back with them. But when they opened their luggage, they were shocked. My sister's ashes were all over the place. They were everywhere, all over. Like literally, she was on the floor. We had to like scrape her up. The funeral home packed Sarah's ashes in a plastic bag inside a box that was inside a velour pouch. Someone slit the bag open and left it and didn't even secure the box back. Half of the ashes spilling out of the bag, out of the box, and even out of the pouch. They could have untwisted the bag. It wasn't like it was vacuum sealed. There was a twist tie on it, and there was a big hole in it. And there was this official letter with the ashes alerting the Canadian Air Transport Security Authority to what was inside. Everything that they need. It clearly says these are human remains. It does. It clearly states that. Whoever searched the bag left this letter from Katza, alerting many the bag had been opened. She can't fathom why it was treated in such a disrespectful manner. And I just feel like they probably made a joke about it, like, ooh, we got this dead girl on us or something like that. Because I feel like if you could do something so evil and nasty, I wouldn't doubt that you did that. She says she and her mother are traumatized and angry. They think someone should be fired and possibly criminally charged. I went from being heartbroken to very angry and then back to heartbroken. Well, many tried to call Katza in Canada and find out what happened, but she couldn't get through. I was able to reach them late this afternoon and tell them what had gone on. And now they are investigating the case of the search of luggage and tell me that they should have some answers by Wednesday. Live in West Palm Beach, I'm Terry Parker. Back to you.